Hi everyone, my name is Myra Coveney. I am the resident clarinet specialist with Thompson Music Clarinet Shop. Welcome to our little series of tips and tricks that we'll be uploading every month or so to kind of help you out with your clarinet journey. Today we're going to be talking about tongue position and voicing. When it comes to voicing and you're going up and down the registers of the clarinet, what do you do with your tongue? We've probably all seen x-rays where the tongue kind of moves up and down. How do we know what that feels like? It's kind of hard to like mimic what, what you're doing, what you're seeing in a, in a video if you don't actually know what it feels like because you don't know what's going on inside your own mouth. And it's kind of expensive to get an x-ray done. So it's, we want to try to avoid that. So what we're going to be doing, what the idea is, is you're going to whistle. If you can't whistle, that's fine. You can try. You can, you can make a noise. You're going to whistle your lowest note and your highest note. Now what you're going to do is you're going to connect your lowest whistle to your highest whistle. Notice what your tongue does. One more time. Now, if you're, you may have felt that the middle part of your tongue, it raised. That's the part when you're whistling, that's the part of your tongue that goes up and down when you're voicing across the range of the clarinet. So you have three sections of your tongue. You have the back section back here and that anchors to your molars, that stays put. You're always gonna have that contact with your back molars. Middle section, that's what just moved. That's what moves up and down when you're speaking, when you're whistling, when you're voicing, that's the part that moves up and down. Then you have the very tip and that only moves when you're articulating. That only moves to make contact with the reed. This part in here, when you whistle, changes. It raises just ever so slightly. You want to try to keep that that um, E shape in your tongue. It's kind of like an umlaut, like an E, because you have like your your lips around the mouthpiece. But that part raises ever so slightly. So this is something that Robert Marcellus taught, and he taught that um, when you're whistling, you kind of want to whistle a throat tone A flat for the shallow mode register. So when you're playing lower, where your tongue should be sitting is if you whistle an A flat. That's your tongue position. When you play in the clarion register, long B. Altissimo, third space, C sharp. If you slide up and down between that, you can kind of feel your tongue raising. That's about the range of where you want your tongue to raise. It doesn't have to be as extreme as your lowest or your highest whistle. I just had to change rooms because somebody needed that room to teach. But thank you for watching. I hope this was useful. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. Leave any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos. We'd love to hear it. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, stay tuned for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.